All right. <coughs> okay, someone just asked about the Akashic Records. All right. You may not like my answer, but I told you, if you're going to ask me any questions, you have to understand that the answers you're going to receive are going are going to be from a simulationist. He says, I, I cannot, this is not theory to me. This is not hypotheses. I cannot sit here and convey these videos to you. The absolute mathematic perfection of history, the Phoenix phenomenon, the orbit of Nibiru, the dark satellite. We haven't even released a video on the dark satellite yet. Uh, we did, I, I introduced it, I'm sorry. I did, I did the gate of Yaksaka was a video about the dark satellite, but I didn't give away its orbit yet, when it will return. Uh, but I'm a simulationist, and I see everything as coding now. I can't see it. I can't see it otherwise. So when you ask me about the uh, Akashic records, I am in agreement because knowledge is holographic. The whole sphere that we are in is is 100% holographic. I would love to be able to tell you that this this t this this tablet that I'm on is real, but if I was to magnify the atom of this tablet, I'm only, I'm going to be reduced to an oscillating field of light nothing physical at all and that oscillating field is so far away from the first orbiting electron it's tantamount to the earth orbiting the sun at 93 million miles away so <coughs> if the if the macrocosm and the microcosm mirror each other but just on different scales then we're looking at a fractal based hologram just like we already know what phi is 1.618 but phi can also be 5.08 it's a totally different scale if you were to take phi 1.618 multiply it by pi we get moving curvature of 5.08 it is phi times pi so which is a circle that never closes now because I'm a simul I'm a simulationist I do yes I do believe that knowledge is in within the simulation asking about the Akashic Records is almost uh, in, like anticipating the description I gave you when I was in a prison cell. I used, to, I used to sit quietly and I realized, wait a minute, this is way before I read Stalking the Wild Pendulum by Ishak Mintov. I had realized that, wait a minute, these aren't even my thoughts. Why the hell would I think that? I, there was, thoughts are very invasive. Sometimes those invasive thoughts though bring germs of creativity they bring new new corridors of knowledge and you can pay attention to them something inside the holosphere is always trying to teach us and something else within this coding is always trying to convince us it's bullshit <coughs> we we are immortal beings with amnesia trapped at the intersect between two infinities being pulled backwards and forwards at the same time. Your entire existence is palindromic, not only from your RNA and DNA. The sequences of chromosomes are 100% palindromic. This has been shown over and over. Francis Crick, one of the two discoverers of the DNA helix, even mentioned that. As a matter of fact, Crick, Crick is highly criticized because of his belief that it was he, that he wrote a paper about it being extraterrestrial in nature. So, uh, yes, the Akashic Records, I mean, there's no place called Akashic Records and all that, but yes, the concept of the Akashic Records, yes. In a hologram, nothing is lost. It is one's position that creates perspective. And if your present position right now isn't getting you the knowledge that you want from, the, from, from existence, meaning if you're out of alignment with the things you seek, the things you seek can never align with you and to begin with. This is the beauty of a holographic nature. Now, if you're truly searching for something, if you're truly searching for something, the universe is going to put you in contact with the information that you seek. It's always going to do that. A lot of times, you either don't recognize that this is an avenue of fulfillment for what you're looking for, or the discovery of the information you seek so offends the conscious that you edit it out and totally, for, and totally stop searching. This has happened to many people. We call this cognitive dissonance. It's a... Let's see, Cash. 